let's dive right into it. Monster King Kong. What do you have here? Predator. These are the bigger ones. And here you got Cobra Kai. Some Ghostbusters. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. And look at that Ghostbuster. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, look at that Thundercat. Oh, look at this price. 35. Hmm. Star Wars. Got some Princess Bride. So this is the horror table. Child's play. And there's Thanos Gauntlet. And again, Predators, more Predators, more Predators, Venom, I see Tannis. Look at this bins. And here we got a lot of Star Wars, yeah. <laughs> Legends, oh, Logan and Hawkeye. Without this, your, your video is like... <laughs> the Red Hulk, at the back. What else do we have here? More legends. Have a nice one, guys. Let's go inside. This is the first boot on the right when you go in. Masters of the Universe here. Origins and Masterverse. PWWE. And here you got some Hot Wheels. And some assortment of cars, DC figures, gargoyles. Hmm. Oh, look at this DC and more of the origins. Prices is a little bit high for those small two origins. And look at that. There's always something here for everyone. Superstars of Wrestling, that's Terry Funk. They got everyone. And there you have it. The Hulk. Hulk Hogan. What you gonna do? Yeah, I grew up watching wrestling. I never really collected them, but I did grow up watching them. I forgot who this thing is. <laughs> Look at that, two for 30 bucks. Hmm. And here, oh, Calibac. To buy or not to buy? I'll think about it. And here's another bin. Oh, marble. Okay. And more marble in here. Captain America. If you only have that time to go through all these bins, I'm sure there's treasure here. More on the horror. I mean, if you're into these things, there's a lot of them here. And Defenders of the Earth, Lash Gordon. This is a newer one. I think from the 2021. Let's see. Yeah, it's from 2021. Rocky Balboa and Jaws. Aliens. This is a nice cable. Mars Attack. And more Star Wars in here. You got another mix here. Spawn. Very, very intricate. Watchman. Legend. 
Legends of Batman. So this is a pretty much a mix of different figures. Superman Dimsday, X-Men. And you got a Fantastic Four in here. Atuma. Hmm. Batman and Robin. That's a nice DC Direct. Although they are a little bit smaller than what I hope for. That's why I don't really collect them much. With this figure, I do stay with the 7 inch. And you got some WWE in here. Seth Rollins. Jitsu. Just checking if there's something else that I that they have that I missed. There's always something. These are nice. Marvel Select. The thing. What's that in the back? And here you have the door. And War Machine. Who? I wanted those two at the back, but I don't think they're for sale anymore. And here is another bin. World of Warcraft. He's also selling some graded comics. I bought from this guy before. He's uh, very, very good when it comes to pricing. Look at that Batman Beyond at the back. So he's got some DC here. Very, very fair bender. And you got. Let's see what he has in here. Oh. No. Let me see. I'm looking for a Batman. Yeah, I'm still looking for more Batmans. <laughs> oh, this is so small. I would have wanted one. Wait. Wait, this is it. I think this is 7-inch McFarlane. Let me ask. It is 7-inch McFarlane. So I finally found the one that I'm looking for. Let's set that aside. See if he has anything else that I would like to buy. This is nice. Yeah, that's the right scale from what I'm looking for. And the classic look. I mean, as much as like I like the new Batman, I still love the classic look. What else do you have here? More marble. It's so much fun to go through all these bins. And you know, when they're in the bins, the more likely that you're going to be able to get some discounts. And I like it when they put it in plastic like that so you know even they're in the bins they're not rubbing up against each other this thing is a is this a marble guy armadillo I forgot you tell me in the comments if you remember what else can I find here hmm. these are the carded figure fantastic four look at that it's almost complete and you have more here, Star Wars. Oh, look at that Astro Boy. How much is it? $300. But that is really, really cool. Look at that. That is really, really cool. And what do you have here? What else? Oh, that is... That stroke. This is 
Dino Riders. Wow. Look at that. That is Dino Rider. Now that's one thing that you don't see every day in these toy shows. And there's another one at the back, the small one. Look at that. That is so nice. I don't know. Um, I wanted to buy this thing, but it's not yet part of my collection. I don't know if I start this or should I go to for this one? Wow, I haven't seen one for a long time. And look at this, a mix of different figures. You got to look, you got to look, cause, you know, you're going to miss something. There's so much stuff in here. You're gu guaranteed to miss something. You know, and I, I do this videos, you know, I take you in my tour with me. And then sometimes when I go back and then I realize there was something in the video that I do like, but I missed it. Oh, look at that. It's Captain Marvel. 145 yeah you know I fast to the table and then I didn't realize that there is something there that I do like here you got mix of Star Wars Marvel there you have it there you have it Marvel Cinemore attack more masters of the universe origins there you go and look at those ghostbusters that millennium falcon is amazing ewok and wrestling figures more wrestling figures gi joe's hot wheels oh, look at this thing right here superpowers and I see some Transformers G1 in here Jazz look at that wow Starscream superpowers and you can see those Dinobots in there they're also G1 and now I gotta mix Masters of the Universe Origin Orco. Wow. Oh, look at this. Some of these are complete. This trap Joe is complete. Oh, yeah. And look at that price. The price is not bad at all. I already have two trap jaws. If not, I would have gotten that one. It's like 50 bucks complete. Wow. And there's Orko. And what do we have here? In humanoids. I think I found. I think I found the ones. Mm. Very nice condition. Very nice condition. King Kong. Nice ones. And here, Kilowog. Yeah, you get some some stuff in here. The Thundercat. Look at that, and look at this, 
Batman and Robin Jet played. And here we have Star Wars. Mission Impossible. Nice. Ah, uh, I do see something else. Thunderbirds. And look at that price. That's pounds. This were never sold in Canada, if I remember it right. More Star Wars. Disney Mirrorverse. What do you have out there? Molar versus Skeletor. 95 bucks. Mm. More wrestling figures. Here you got Planet of the Apes. Star Wars. And some G.I. Joe. McFarlane. And a mix of G.I. Joe. DC Universe. Only a dollar. More Star Wars in here. DMNT. That's a set. And more Star Wars up there. On. You know, sometimes you don't really know where to look and what to look for. There's just so much stuff in here, as any other toy shows. But Burlington Toy Show is really one of the best, if I may say. And a lot of unique items that I've got, I got from this show. They got the wrong accessories. The prey, yeah, they got the wrong accessories. Here. And look at this. I mean, I'm I'm not collecting wrestling figures, but if I if I do collect, I mean, I want this. This is the figures that I would want to have. And look, look at that. But I'm not familiar with this. I'm not a collector of the wrestling figures. So, and look at that Star Wars. That is so nice. Got the book in here. There you go. It's a little uh, radar. It's like radar cone shaped, but the it's like round. Is that a piece of cone? This one is big. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah. I mean, it's not expensive, but if you buy it, where are you going to put it? <laughs> but if I'm a Star Wars fan, I would love to have that. Here, got some Marvel Legends, Sectors, Thundercats. Nice. These are complete. Oh, the... There's something wrong with it. Yeah, there's miss one thing missing from the weapon, the ball. But it's almost complete. He's got the helmet. So much stuff. Some of these figures are complete. Even they're loose. And look at this. 
more mode two. I do see that triclops at the back. This one? And this one is complete too. Very nice condition. The price is also good. Yeah. I mean collecting toys, you gotta have a, a different type of patience. And luck as well. You know. Sometimes it would come out really really good and then you go into the next convention there is something better but it might not be it really depends but if it's something rare something that you don't see a lot if you see it grab it that's my advice to you and if you happen to see something better on the next toy convention well you can always sell it you can always sell it and then keep the one that you like best. Look at this Perceptor. I'm not sure if it's complete, but that price is not bad at all. What do we have in this bin? And what do we have here? Nice statue. I don't recognize her though. Is this Tarkok? Put in the comment section if this is Tarkok. I don't remember. And this, look at this Dragon Ball. Really, really good. And that's Super Power. Remember what I said? If you see something rare, grab it. This is something that you should. I mean, I don't collect it for myself but if you're a DC collector it's a must everyone thank you for watching and it is now time to say goodbye for this video and don't forget to click like share subscribe and hit that notification bell for more of my videos and I will see you on my next one Bye.